Okay. Good morning and happy Wednesday. And thank you for joining us today, March 7th. This is Glenda Rova Show, and with me is Julie Gromitz. Good morning. Good morning. And we are going to talk about the gut brain connection today and why it's so important. And um, yeah, give a little insight there and into um, some products that doTERRA offers that can help with that connection. On our agenda today, we just want to uh, celebrate some fun stuff that happened in February, talk about our awesome March promotions, then we'll get to our um, talk about the gut brain connection, and then we will close with upcoming events, both um, corporate events and local upcoming events. So top enrollers and rank advancements in February. February was a really fun month. The BOGOs were awesome too. And I just want to give a shout out to um, Erica G and Thrive Chiropractic and Nikki Wells for being our top enrollers on both my team and Julie's team. And then our rank advancements, we have Carrie uh, Hit Elite, which is awesome. And yay, uh, Chelsea, Jason, and Rihanna hit executive. A shout out to Teresa for hitting director. So way to go. Way to uh, change lives and, and share these beautiful products with others. And thanks for all your hard work. Free product of the month. I am in love with grapefruit. Um, and how timely that it comes right now. You know, we, I am just itching for the sun to be shining more and more. And grapefruit really does help promote that feeling of sunshine in my world. Um, and this one is one of my favorites to add to water. I like to use it in combination with the next slide that we're going to be showing. It is, um, it's a really great combo. It's very cleansing. Um, very tasty. It emotionally helps us to feel a sense of um, comfort with our own physical body. And I think that that's really important. Um, it's in our Slim and Sassy blend. And so it's part of that is its cleansing properties and its ability to kind of move the sludge. Mm -hmm. mm. And you get it free this month. So Make sure your loyalty rewards order goes out at 125 PV or more before the 15th of the month. And this is very important because with the BOGOs last month, your PV may have dropped down in your cart. So double check and make sure that um, your cart is set to ship out at 125 or more before the 15th. Want to take this one too, Julie? Oh, I love Cypress. I really do. Cypress is um, Cypress is one of my favorites. One of my most used. That is more, or I should say, less common, so to speak. Not one of our top ten oils or anything, but it's one of my tops. Um, this is one that I use in my massage practice very often because it really does promote um, promote blood flow. It is great for circulation. If you find yourself um, up in the middle of the night with legs that seem to be active <laughs> and not sitting still, um, Cypress is great. Cypress and grapefruit actually are my, is a combo that I like to put together for that purpose, just to help get that circulation flowing, help to calm the nerves and relax the muscles. Another great thing that I love Cypress for is if you're on a long road trip or if you're sitting at a conference for a long time and you've been drinking a lot of coffee, Cypress over the bladder can help to calm that um, incessant need to go and relieve yourself too often. So, you know, relieving yourself on a regular basis is hugely important. However, if you feel like you are um, feeling the urge too often, Cypress over the bladder can really help to, to calm that urge. And that's 10% off this month. So 
also great in a uh, toner for your skin. So if you um, make your own skin toner using a little bit of witch hazel and some clarified, uh, some distilled water, you could do that with a little cypress. And I like to add frankincense to mine. Otherwise doTERRA has an awesome toner. And um, I've tried both the Virage line and the other. I really love the spritz bottle of the Virage. I like the way that the other one smells, so I'm really torn. I think that they're both great, um, but you could absolutely add cypress to either of those as well to um, help if you have oily skin. Awesome. That's a lot of stuff I didn't know about cypress. <laughs> I love cypress. Did I say that? Did I say that already? I love cypress. Hey, girl, thanks for sharing. <laughs> And I'm really excited about these two. I believe that they're still available. So um, they have the Aspire and the One Rollerball Blends. And just to back up a second here, every year at the convention, there's always a gala. And the last few years, they've started to create a blend um, that all of the attendees to the gala receive as a gift. Um, I have not actually smelled either one of these, but I cannot wait. Mine should be arriving later today, and I'm really excited to try them. So if um, these two blends speak to you, you can see on here uh, the doTERRA One blend has ylang ylang, frankincense, vetiver, Douglas fir, cardamom, and melissa. Mm, just mm, sounds yummy. And then the doTERRA Aspire has lime, cardamom, hyssop, cedarwood and chamomile and um, like I said I, I think they, they're just available while supplies last so as of late last night uh, Julie and I were under the impression they're still available so they hopefully are this morning if you are interested in getting either of them I would certainly put your order in sooner than later I'm going to read a quick um, quip. Erica Gossard put together this great um, description of these oils using the chemistry wheel. And so I'm just going to read it off if you don't mind. Sure. So one, this oil with its lime and hyssop will really assist with uplifting. Li limonene is all about happy chemistry and the hyssop contains pinene that are also uplifting. The cedarwood is all about grounding the body and the cardamom is about restoring the body and mind. With that, this would be a great oil to feel more at one with your true self. Uplift your spirit, ground your soul, and restore your body to a sense of calm. Be true in yourself and, true in your true north. Isn't that gorgeous? That's beautiful. And then Aspire. This blend is going to be more about restoring your mind and soothing your body. With the frank and cardamom that fall in the restoring area and the ylang ylang and melissa to soothe the body. The vetiver and Douglas fir add a grounding element and an uplifting element. I would recommend this oil to heal your mind and ground your soul. Anytime I see a wood oil, I uh, uh, explain how trees are rooted deeply in the earth for their strength and beauty just like we should be. Aww. Yay! That's awesome. Brilliant. Yes. So order them today. Don't mm -hmm. delay. <laughs> <laughs> and you can use this um, as an LRP. So toss it onto your LRP cart just as if you were doing the BOGOs last month. Toss it on. It's a one-time order only item. So you have to hit the ship now button. So make sure that your cart's up to that 125. Throw some of that uh, Cypress in there. Get your free grapefruit, and you're going to have a great month. Yes, and then make sure you go back and check your cart, because these will not stay in there. Oh, good call. Yes. So the gut-brain connection. Look at this cute little picture we found. <laughs> <laughs> um, Julie and I are going to try and keep this kind of simple and light, because this could get very complicated very fast, and we're not... Uh, we're going to do our best. Yes, we'll put it at that. So there is a definite connection between our gut and our brain. Have you ever had a gut feeling or been worried sick or felt like you had butterflies in your stomach, felt like you had a pit in your stomach? I wonder how that happened. 
<laughs> it's because yeah. our, our brain is talking directly to our gut and uh, saying, woo, something's not right here. And then our gut gets all excited and nervous. And it's just fascinating how the body works. Yeah, before they even pulled apart the body and have had the, uh, the microscopic view that they've had today, they have recognized historically um, the connection between your gut and your, your emotions, your emotional health, your emotional body. Um, in multiple different healing arts, traditional Chinese medicine, Ayurvedic, all of that has this connection between your, your gut and your emotions. So it's pretty cool. Yep. And it, have you ever heard um, the phrase that the gut is our second brain? Mm -hmm. That, you know, it's, it's not necessarily doing the thinking that our brain does, but it's doing more of the feeling of what information our brain is receiving. Um, yeah, I think that they're doing more and more um, microscopic research with the the little my the microbes that are in the gut and discovering that there is far more uh, electrical activity than they anticipated initially mm -hmm. yeah i was just thinking too like um i know that sometimes when i get really nervous or overly excited you know my stomach starts to do things that <laughs> it would normally do because it's it's trying to help uh, process. That's what I'm trying to say. What am I trying to say? It feels what's happening. We feel what's happening inside our gut and our second brain. Because our second brain is, you know, the mechanics behind our food digestion. So it's very interesting how it's all linked. Um, so yeah, moving right along. So uh, sometimes in life, we will have a, a reaction to things, you know, you'll have an outside stimuli, if you've got a stressful test coming up, or you've just gotten in a fight with your loved one, and you haven't resolved anything, you may feel the stress in your head, you may feel it in your heart, you may feel it in your stomach, you're not hungry anymore, or you've got this tightness in your chest. You know, all of this um, is a common reaction in your physical body to the outside stress and um, frustration that we deal with. So there's a disconnect, right? And sadly, what happens then is that we tend to feed this belief system that says something's not right, I'm not good enough, what's going on, and when you feed this negative belief, that negative belief tends to continue to grow. So if we can take a moment and stop and sit and recognize, you know, okay, so what just happened? What's going on? What am I feeling versus how can this, what's another way that I can look at this? How can I change the words that I'm saying around the situation? How can I change my belief structure so that I can feed a positive instead of a negative belief? Mm -hmm. Yes. So, feed your body. Feed your body good things, not only with your belief system, but we also need to be paying close attention to the food, the water, the um, beverages, the other chemicals that we put into our body. And not only to keep the toxins out, but your body thrives. You need to have good nutrients, good balanced nutrients to feed your body. Mm -hmm. So when we eat these plants, we feed ourselves with sunlight. <laughs> so make sure you get a beautiful color of um, colorful variety on your dinner plate at night, making sure that you've got a ton of fresh fruits and vegetables. Um, all of that is not only going to nourish your cells, it's going to nourish your gut. It's going to nourish your brain. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Another thing that we did not put on here is the importance of feeding your brain um, fish oil, fatty, fatty oils. We absolutely need that to feed the brain. Um, our brain is comprised mostly of those fats, and so we need to continually be feeding them. I know a lot of people hear the word diet or um, wanting to watch what you eat, and if you grew up in my household, that means no fat and low-fat diet foods everywhere. Well, what that leads to is a, a lack of the fatty acids that we need in our body. Um, and instead, they're replacing all of the fats and foods with sugar, which really doesn't make any sense to me, or other sweeteners to create more flavor. So make sure that you are um, really paying attention, eating your whole foods, steer clear of the diet foods, steer clear of the um, processed foods, the, uh, anything that's got too many ingredients on it, mm -hmm. your, your body is not going to be able to process. It's not going to be able to break it down. So without getting too deeply into it, I just really, really want to make sure that you are, um, that you're eating clean and healthy and your body will respond in kind. Yes, and Julie, I just want to back up for a second here because, well, it's morning. Let's just be honest, the coffee is not doing what it normally does. <laughs> but when you are um, stressed or in a moment of, you know, kind of maybe you're not, you know, thinking great things or maybe you're in a nervous situation where, you know, you're starting to feel um, stress, our body goes into fight or flight. And that also really kind of upsets the system. So then if you're in fight or flight and then you're not eating those healthy foods, you're just kind of making, you're just kind of snowballing out of control. Whereas if you started to bring in more of the healthy foods and kind of, you know, get the body back to balance, it would help that, um, uh, oh, I had a thought. It would keep everything more in flow. So, and I think that's what we are trying to get at today is that, you know, inflammation is kind of the root of dis-ease in the body. And so if you can nourish yourself by eating healthy fats and eating healthy foods and eating probiotics and eating nuts, um, those types of things are going to help balance out the, um, balance out the body. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, that's great. And I'm glad that you brought up the, um, the central nervous system and the fight or flight, because on the other end of that is your rest and digest phase. Mm -hmm. So if your body is in that constant state of fight or flight, which can happen, you know, whether you're in a physical fight or an emotional fight within yourself on doing something right or doing something wrong, your body is not going to be digesting properly. Yeah. So making sure that, you know, you're resolving whatever conflicts you have, but also making sure that you're not eating on the run. You know, if you pick up that, that breakfast sandwich and you're eating it in the car on the freeway in rush hour traffic, your body is not able to fully digest that food. And so giving yourself the proper time and opportunity to allow that food to settle can be really helpful as well. And I believe on this next slide here, we wanted to talk about a few products that actually help the body with um, digestion and kind of keeping things running smoothly. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to start at the bottom right corner, which might be odd, but Terrazyme is something that I just absolutely must have every day. It's a digestive enzyme. So it helps our body to break down the food that we're eating, helps our body to pull the necessary nutrients that we're eating um, that we're getting from our food as well. And I usually take one or two with every meal. If the meal's a little bit on the heavier side of what I'm eating, I might take two. Yeah, and one of the things to remember about your digestive enzymes is that they are super important for all of our metabolic processes. And so if you're not consuming enough 
enzymes to allow your body to digest the food that you're eating. It'll actually rob it from some of your other metabolic processes. So we wanna make sure that you are adding digestive enzymes to your food or making sure that you're really eating a ton of um, fresh fruits and vegetables, not cooked. It's the raw fruits and vegetables that are gonna have um, the digestive enzymes in them. So um, again, I love how you throw it in there with a heavy meal, you add an extra one. I make sure to add at least one with every meal and then if I'm not getting my raw fruits and vegetables, that's when I throw in my extra. Yeah. And then our Zendocrine line um, is amazing at helping the body uh, kind of detox gently and cleanse our organs. It's like the liver, um, just to kind of help it release anything that's holding on to, and that in turn also will help our digestion. I loved uh, Laura Jacobs had a an analogy with the Zendocrine. So when you are looking to clean your system out, you wanna make sure that your exit pathways, your chimneys of the body are clear so that when the body is ready to expel everything else, the chimneys, it has a place to go. And so the Zendocrine is um, what helps to clear those chimneys out. It helps to detox the skin, the liver, the kidneys, all of that that our body utilizes as its detoxification um, organ system. So, love that. Yeah. <laughs> no, I love that. And, and then, then uh, oh, go ahead. The PBN Assist and GX Assist um, are also part of that 30-day cleanse process. So after you're done with your Zendocrine for 10 days, um, Grab your GX Assist, and that's to be used for 10 days at a time, and not typically much further than that. It does have oregano oil in it. It has some other really great oils. They're really powerful oils. It's a giant powerhouse in caprylic acid, so it's definitely not to be taken lightly. Um, and using the Zendocrine first will allow the GX Assist to work a little easier in the system. Um, but this is going to be your gut cleanse. This is what, um, this is what I like to use if I've been, if I've had a really, really rough, uh, dietary period of time, I like to do this, this whole cycle, the Zendocrine and the GX Assist to really get things moving. Um, but it can help to break up that the junk, the stuff that's just been accumulating in our gut for so long. So be ready for some some exciting things to uh, express <laughs> themselves. And then following that is our PB Assist. And uh, um, it's really important that you follow up the GX Assist with the PB Assist because the GX Assist is going to clear all of that, um, all of that garbage out of your gut and then you really want to make sure that you are replacing it with good solid probiotics mm -hmm. and our PB assist is really special it's really unique it um, actually is wrapped in a pro I'm sorry it's a probiotic that is wrapped inside of a prebiotic and why that's important is that our body actually needs those dark green leafy vegetables um, this is actually from seaweed that helps the body to absorb that probiotic. And then it's all wrapped in a time-released capsule. And what that allows is it allows that probiotic to get down past the stomach acid, where most probiotics would typically die off. It allows it to get past the stomach acid and down into the intestinal tract before it, um, before it releases. So we actually have an opportunity for that, those live active cultures to get down into the gut where they need to be doing their job. Definitely. And then um, the next one's there in the upper right hand corner is our Slim and Sassy Metabolic Blend in the oil and the soft gels. And um, I love drinking Slim and Sassy in my water. It's a combination of cinnamon, peppermint, ginger, grapefruit, and lemon. And each one of those oils has a very specific duty in that blend. So like 
Cinnamon is going to help um, blood sugars remain stable. And peppermint and ginger are going to help with uh, digestion. And grapefruit and lemon are going to be very cleansing to the body and help it eliminate. So that's a great blend if you're just looking for um, help with sugar cravings, trying to avoid those things that really create an unbalance in the gut, um, or just trying to um, kind of maintain a more constant metabolism. Love my Digestion. Oh, for those moments of unrest and unease in the digestive system, digestion is amazing. Um, it's great to just rub straight on your tummy if you know you've got some upset. It's great to take a drop under the tongue. Um, it's great to drink in water. You can put it on the bottoms of your feet on your reflex points as if you've got some um, uh, digest digestion. Uh, Oh my goodness. Digestive discomfort. Thank you. <laughs> and it really helps to bring the body back to balance. So if you're one way or the other, it's just going to help maintain that balance in the body. And then DDR Prime. So this was designed, this DDR stands for Damage DNA Repair. And why that's so important is that our body is constantly in a state of um, sloughing off old dead cells and replenishing with um, new healthy cells. Although sometimes our body does not uh, replicate, our cells don't replicate in a healthy manner. So DDR Prime has a blend of different essential oils, some really, really great ones, frankincense, lemongrass, clove, thyme, naoli, and a number of others that really help assist in that process. And so it is giving the body some really good information to um, identify the replication of unhealthy cells and helping them to slough off and... Um, allowing for the new healthy cells to replicate themselves instead. So as part of your cleansing process, um, or honestly, you know, DDR is one of the things that I take when I am starting to feel under the weather. It just really is my powerhouse oil blend. And um, I've started using it with um, some of my clients that have uh, joints that are unhealthy and sticking together and um, it's 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 feeling good it's creating some really really good movement so it's been a fun blend to be using mm -hmm. and it comes in both the soft gel and the liquid form yes so moving right along it's just as important that we feed our mind just as much as we feed our body. And this picture is just a beautiful representation. And I love this. Change your thoughts and you can change your world. Mind is a powerful thing to waste. Yep. So if you find yourself heading down that track of, oh, I should have done this or should have done that stop and change what you're telling yourself you have the power to change whatever you're thinking about uh, the message that you're giving yourself <clears throat> it's really all in um starting to become mindful of what you're thinking about and what you're surrounding yourself with and if you don't like where you're at think about changing those thoughts Sometimes it's hard. It's hard to create that, that shift and that change, but we have some great oils that can help with that. Yes, we do. So we thought that we would um, just leave you with this idea of create the message you want to hear. And by doing that, some of our oil blends um, offer that. So if you're feeling super stressed and panicky, maybe grab some peace, our reassuring blend. You know, and as you're smelling it or applying it, just really taking in thoughts of peace and being gentle with yourself. Um, or perhaps it's, um, perhaps you need to forgive someone or forgive yourself for not doing something. You know, again, when you're applying the forgive, maybe over your heart or smelling it, 
really having, bringing those um, thoughts intentionally into your mind about how you want to be thinking and how you want to move forward. You know, another thing to think about while you are wanting to create the message that you want to hear is daily affirmations. Mm. And um, I love referring to Louise Hay. She has a great book. It's tiny. It's easy. It's a little reference book. It's called Heal the Body. And she actually has an app for that too. Really? Yeah. Yep. So in that book or that app, you can look up, you know, what physical ailment that you have and it gives you an affirmation for the day. So it's basically, again, a way to shift your thought, shift your words, change the path in which your brain is going down so that you can create what it is that you want to hear. So using those affirmations, adding an essential oil in there, really giving your, um, giving your mind an alternative because we have way more control over what it is that is happening in our body and in our mind than I was led to believe when I was a kid. And so I highly encourage you to take some action, take some control and take your life back. Yeah, I really want to challenge you to try this. So if, you know, even if you just start today or um, if you find yourself spiraling, you know, into a bunch of crazy thoughts, really saying, okay, today I'm going to be mindful of what I'm thinking and I'm going to be um, gentle with myself and honor where I'm at today. And maybe it's as simple as saying that I am enough or I am strong or I can do this. Um, and see how it starts to change, you know, start to watch the um, events unfold after you make that mind shift, because it really is incredible. And, you know, I still have my days where I spiral out of control, but I notice that when I'm more mindful of what I'm thinking of, and I can start to change it in that moment, it's a completely different outcome for me than if I just stay kind of on the crazy path. <laughs> <laughs> um, some days are better than others, but I really try to, I start, I'm like, oh, wow, why am I having all these thoughts? Ooh, these are not good. Like I need to kind of reset. So I might grab an oil. And actually one of my favorites right now is not on this slide, but we talked about it um, last week or the week before, and that's elevation. That's the joyful oil. Um, and it really kind of helps bring me out of just the murky stuff that I'm feeling and kind of remind me that there's so much joy in the world and there's so much to be grateful for. And it really kind of helps me shift out of that funky space into a happy place. So find an oil that does that for you. Maybe it's one of them on the slide here. Maybe it's, um, you know, your favorite oil. But just make sure that you have it with you at all times because you never know when you're going to need it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well said, Glenda. Thank you. So the other important, important, important factor is move your body. You know, we all hear it. It's been something that's been said to us since we were little. Get up and move. I think this generation is far worse off than we were as kids. <laughs> so much sedentary nature in our world today. From sitting in school to sitting in, on the road to sitting, you know, at your desk to sitting in front of the TV or your smartphone or whatever. But, um... Not only does exercise help to oxygenate the body, which oxygenates the blood, which oxygenates the mind, so you start to think clearer, but also in traditional Chinese medicine, our digestive tracts, our spleen, our stomach, those lines, those energy channels are actually in our legs. So uh, the more that you can get up and move and walk or run or jump, you know, or get your butt on a swing set and go swing, you know, it will help to um, improve your digestion. It'll help improve your mood. Another thing that is so simple is to do some abdominal twists. 
So when you are sitting in your chair, I challenge you to do this right now. Sitting in your chair, sit up straight, bring your head to the ceiling, pull your navel into your spine, take a deep breath in, and then on your exhale, turn to the left, just with your head and your torso, leaving your feet and your knees where they are, and then inhale again to center, and turn to your right. And that simple art of twisting actually helps to activate your digestive system as well. So there are so many simple things that we can do, allowing our body to move in the way that it was made to move. So get out there and move your body. Enjoy the sunshine, especially it's, it's sun shining today, at least where I'm at. So love it. Go outside and move my body a little bit more. And actually, you know, it's really funny, Glenda. I found myself this morning as I was waiting for my coffee pot to brew. I was just standing there in my kitchen and I just started like moving my shoulders. Just a little shimmy. And it felt so good. Yes. <laughs> find a time, find a way. Shimmy yourself today. <laughs> <laughs> Did that just rhyme? Totally did. <laughs> I love it. Oh, that's awesome. So that wraps up our <clears throat> chat on the gut brain connection. Feed your mind, feed your body, move your body. And so in closing, we just want to one more reminder, the uh, wellness summits that doTERRA is doing that link there, you can go online and see what cities they will be in in the next couple of months. I've already been to Minnesota and it was awesome, but I highly encourage you to um, let people know that live in other areas if the events are coming near them and encourage them to go, or maybe it's a great time for a road trip or go visit friends, but wellness summits. And the regional product trainings, these are awesome as well. Um, this is just all education for products, so it's great for all customers. And these are the cities that they'll be going to. Um, this would be a great thing to attend as well. So like I mentioned before, if you've got friends in these areas, maybe by, might be a great time to go visit them and bring them along to the product education training because it's very powerful. And our upcoming local events. Next week, there will be no webinar as Julie and I will be in Orlando, Florida, attending the leadership retreat that doTERRA Yay! <laughs> Sunshine and no snow. Um, <laughs> so we will be taking the week off as we learn more. And then the following week, we will be bringing you a recap of what we learned. And then tonight, I um, am doing a make and take. Um, on emotional rollerball blends for grace and ease. And that will be at McPherson Chiropractic in Northeast Minneapolis. So if you would like to join me tonight, please feel free. And then our next monthly business meeting will be when we return Saturday, March 17th from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. And um, Julie, that location there, is there a suite number or anything? Yes. Do I remember it off the top of my head? No, but it is a, um, it's a secured building. So you're going to have to get in touch with either Glenda or myself or show up directly on time at uh, 8 a.m. or slightly before to make sure that you get in with the rest of us. So if you are running late, make sure that you get in touch with Glenda or myself. We will help um, go down and unlock the door for you and show you to the right suite. Marvelous. Oh, and then we've got an intro oils class at Unwind Within on March 19th at 7 p.m. And then on the 31st, last day of the month, I am doing a AromaTouch workshop. This is not a certification course. This is a workshop where you can come in and experience what the AromaTouch looks like, how you might be able to incorporate it for your friends and family. Um, 
the aroma touch technique is an awesome technique that has been uh, created by Dr. David Hill to really help get your body out of that fight or flight mode and back into a uh, rest and digest phase. Mm -hmm. So if you are curious about the aroma touch, come on by Unwind Within 5 p.m. March 31st. And thank you as always for joining us and have a wonderful day. See you in two weeks.